Welcome to Brick Cap. Today we're going to be reviewing set 42038 for the Arctic Truck with Jasper, my cat. Jasper! Hey? Okay. Um, so we're going to start from the front and the back, and then I'm going to tell you all its features and how to install the Lego power functions. So, first of all, at the front, we've got all these aesthetics like lights, wing mirrors, the printed piece at the front the cabin you got the tank tracks which with really good suspension I'd say it's actually quite cool and so we've got a gearbox in the middle so you can switch between the crane power functions and the dump dumper truck thing and you've also got steering though it can be a bit stiff because of one mistake they've made so they've used blue Technic pins here in the steering, which don't work so well as they are friction pins and it causes the steering to be quite stiff. So we can then switch it onto the crane mode, and if you don't have power functions, use this and it will move up and down. Like that. We've also got this. Um, the winch, which I think works quite well, and then you can turn it all around here, like that. You can also switch the gears and then control the dump truck bit. Um, the gearbox works quite well, it's quite fun to build and how to learn. Underneath, you can see it all got these joints which make it flexible so you've got the suspension which is good and the aesthetics are quite nice so now I'm going to show you how to put in Lego power functions so first of all we've got the hood which we can just open up like that I'd recommend to put it upside down so you can access the switch on the bottom So if we just push it down, this closes over. First, you add on this motor here, the medium motor. It clips automatically with four clips, four black pins, into the spot at the back, which runs directly into the gearbox. Then we can take this wire here, 
we plug this, take this up here, and get the switch, attach it on the studs just there, connect the motor wire to the switch, turn the switch around so it fits, so that clicks in, then you can plug in the switch to the battery pack and fit in nicely, just in there underneath. So you can turn it on and off here, like that. Then you can use the switch to choose the gear and it works really well. Then we can attach the lights, which I prefer to attach directly to the battery pack so they, they are always on. So just attach them in here. Like that. Then get the wires and put them in the top to keep them. You just need to get a bar, push these out. Like that. Get the light piece, put it in backwards so it just fits in. Take the power functions, put it in there and twist it around. We do have the other light. We get the rod, push out the outer one. Take the light piece like this, get the actual light, push it in the back and sort out the wiring, just maybe attaching this in there, and you've got yourself a working power functions, you can switch the gear, And I think it works perfectly with the power functions. So thank you very much for watching. Next time we'll be looking at this model here. I'll be speed building it and giving you a review. This is the Lego Technic Stig Rally Car. I hope you enjoyed this review and we'll come and watch the next video. Thank you.